seven psychological experiments with unbelievable results. Number 7. Social Laziness in 1880s French agronomist Max Ringelmann undertook an experiment at Grand Joan Agricultural College, which showed that working in groups, actually makes us lazier. This experiment entailed asking a group of people to tug on a rope both individually and as a team. An instrument attached to the base of the rope measured the force of their pull. The results showed that the subjects pulled harder when on their own and shirked when working in a group. The larger the group, the lazier the subjects got. In a group of 8 people each person only pulled half as hard as they had before. This is proof that people are lazier when nobody's looking. Number 6. Subliminal Imagery Early experiments into the power of subliminal imagery have themselves burned a mark on the retina of the public consciousness, particularly in America where commercialism is at its height. The idea of subliminal imagery was made public in 1950s when a market researcher by the name of James Vickery invited a cinema full of journalists to watch a short film about fish. The experiment has since entered popular folklore but this is no urban myth. During the short film the journalists gorged themselves on popcorn and soft drinks as the film had secretly instructed them to do. The messages drink coke and eat popcorn had appeared on the screen consecutively for periods lasting only 300 of a second each. In a previous experiment, conducted on the cinema goers of Fort Lee, New Jersey over a period of six weeks, sales of Coca-Cola rose by 18.1% and those of popcorn by 57.5%. Number 5. The Truth About Beards In almost every culture around the world a finely sculpted arrangement of facial hair is recognized as a sign of wisdom. We are taught that a man with a fine beard is to be respected and revered. But does a hairy chin warmer really alter the way we react to a person? Research has proven that the link between beards and wisdom is little more than wishful thinking by those who choose to wear a hanging chandelier of face fluff. Professor Jurgen Klaprot conducted a simple experiment at the University of Nuremberg-Erlangen. He had lecturers wear beards at the beginning of one semester and go clean-shaven at the start of the next. Within 10 minutes of the students having seen their new look the lecturers handed out a questionnaire about his personality. The results showed that the students thought much less of the lecturers when they were sporting beards, saying that they were less focused, less friendly, less able, less rational and even less intelligent. Number 4. Programming Poor Little Albert Anyone who has read Aldous Huxley's Brave New World will be familiar with the idea of infant conditioning. However the idea dates back to the 1920s when the psychologist John B. Watson began teaching a 9-month-old infant named Albert B. to fear rats. This was achieved by making a loud and frightening noise whenever the rat was nearby. This was directly inspired by Pavlov's experiments with dogs, in which the dogs salivated when they heard a bell, having learned to associate the bell with food. Unfortunately, little Albert was so traumatized that he began to fear anything fury, including blankets, and various animals. It's not known exactly what happened to Albert after this study but it's fair to assume that he grew to be a very nervous adult as Watson had no way of deprogramming the child. The technique known as conditioning, as discovered by Pavlov and his salivating dogs has also been used by Frederick Skinner to train animals to perform amazingly complex tasks. By associating certain actions with food he trained rats to play keyboards and taught pigeons to play ping pong. Number 3. Mind over matter. The idea of telepathic control over matter has long been associated with the paranormal and ignored by science. However over the past century there have been a number of experiments which aim to prove once and for all that it is possible to control objects using the power of the mind. These have included using groups of volunteers to concentrate on a particular outcome of an entirely random event, such as flipping a coin. These experiments have shown a surprising degree of success but have never been entirely conclusive. More recently, however, one professor Magdal attempted to use willpower to influence light. In 2007 he aimed a beam of light at a glass slide and asked his test subjects to mentally increase the amount of reflected light. Amazingly, 
the subjects were able to successfully increase the reflection of the beam by 0.005% and showed a similar success when asked to mentally decrease the amount of reflected light. Number 2. Sleeve Deprivation Experiments into the effects of sleep deprivation began as early as 1894, when cold-hearted Russian scientist Maria Manasayin kept four puppies awake long enough to kill them. The first of the puppies died after 96 hours without sleep and the last after 143 hours. Not content with killing just four puppies she then tried the experiment again, this time with six puppies. They all died. The following year three men stayed awake for a period of 90 hours under the observation of scientists at the University of Iowa. They began to experience hallucinations after only the second night of wakefulness. After their 90-hour ordeal was over they then fell into such a deep sleep that even strong electric shocks could not stir them. Number 1. The Powers of Belief and Ignorance Arthur Ellison, a professor of electrical engineering at the City University of London, is known for his sense of humor. His mock experiment into the power of the human mind was little more than a hoax but highlighted the amazing twin powers of belief and ignorance. Ellison invited a group of volunteers to attempt to make a bowl of flowers levitate. They were asked to concentrate on the object and played an audio recording of chanting Buddhist monks. To their surprise the bowl lifted off the table, the experiment was rigged and the levitation was caused by powerful electromagnets, the chanting was used solely to cover the humming sound they made. What was most interesting about this experiment, however, was the reaction of the unsuspecting participants. One old woman said that she had seen a grey substance supporting the bowl of flowers as it lifted. Presumably she imagined this to be some strange, mystical force. It is possible that she was so desperate to believe that events had been paranormal in nature that she had imagined a supernatural force to have been present. Another woman, however, reacted entirely differently. As a professor of physics she was rightly skeptical but to the point where her judgment was clouded, saying that she didn't even see the bowl of flowers move. It quite clearly had moved, but her refusal to believe it had blinded her to the fact. She said I don't see what all the fuss is about. Nothing moved at all. Thank you for watching the facts today's video. Do subscribe for future uploads.